What's good, YouTube family? It's your boy, Tony, a.k.a. Descendant of Chaos and Controversy, and here I am with another video to talk about something that people have already jumped on. Whew, they could not wait to get into this and uh, put this story out. Now, many of us or many of you have been witnessing uh, in the media on the news that many of people had, I guess, to have a show of faith, uh, have these people uh, get vaccinated on live TV, which, you know, I, I, I could be skeptical of that, as, as I'm sure there are others as well who, who, who think along the same lines as I do, that just because you see somebody getting a shot, who is to say that that's the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine, that they're, you know, putting in the arms of these people to uh, ease our skepticism and, and, and reassure us that the vaccine is safe and whatever. And who's to say that that's what they got? Who's to say that wasn't a placebo shot? But then turn around, when you go get vaccinated, it's the real deal, and who's to say? But, uh, you know how things don't always go as planned, and you know how they have to get ahead of things just so they can say the show must go on. But, uh, this, uh, nurse, uh, at CHI, uh, Memorial by name of, uh, Tiffany Dover, um, she had received the COVID-19 vaccination and, uh, she was standing before the press, uh, giving her a little feedback on it and, and in the midst of her, you know, speaking to the public, uh, you saw she was like getting a little lightheaded and dizzy and she started staggering and then she started to stray away from the podium and she collapsed and there was, uh, doctors or nurse practitioners that were there to like you know get her i guess back in in, 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 in a state of being conscious again but uh she then later on uh tried to reassure the public that she already had a condition where uh she tends to faint um she has an over overreactive vagal response or whatever the, whatever the term she used um but i think they just coached her to through with saying something to you know bring the skepticism down to a minimum <laughs> but um i don't know and she she may very well have had a you know a condition and that's the thing now now if that's a fact that she had a condition that goes to further solidify people's um concerns that they may have con conditions that they're aware of or may not be aware of that could affect them in some kind of way and it's, and it's messed up because here's the thing so these people who have developed this vaccine, whether it's Pfizer or whoever it is and stuff, and and, and, and he, he, here's where you have to question things. Now, there's this virus that just, okay, just, just, just say I'm going to entertain the narrative. There's this virus that just came out of nowhere. It just spawned itself into existence. Okay. And uh, started affecting people globally, you know, and it seems like America is, is the one that's getting the brunt of it in more ways than one, but let's not go there. So now everybody's scrambling to rush to some kind of solution to get this thing underway and controlled, so to speak, and you know, there's there's many factors that's going into like once they develop this vaccine that you know 
they've only started developing within five to six months and stuff like that um, due from the fact of the awareness of the virus um, being in, in existence and who it has affected, who, who it has affected and, and um, have killed and, and those who have survived, so on and so forth. But here's the crazy thing. Now, okay, suppose we don't have any idea of where this virus originated from. We have, we, we have a reference. We have a reference. But now... It's like they want to make sure or, or, or try to push this this vaccine on us, you know, with 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 if we don't take it, there's a hint of repercussions. But if we do take it and something happens to us, no one is held accountable. The pharmaceutical uh, uh, companies aren't held liable. So if if we don't take the vaccine we might face some kind of penalty indirectly. But if we do take the vaccine and it messes us and it messes us up in, in, in some shape, form, or another, no one is held liable. So you can be permanently altered or affected and no one's going to be responsible. But, but they're making sure that you take this vaccine or they're going to find some way that, that, they, that they force you to take it. But they don't want to be held liable if something happens to you if you do take it. I mean, it's like it's like you want to force somebody to gamble with their lives. It's like people will be like, I I'd rather take my chances with getting sick with the corona than than not and, and knowing what to expect from you know if something if I was to get infected or whatever with the virus. Versus you putting something in me that I don't know nothing about and just taking your word for it and, 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 and putting myself in direct contact and risk with something that you want to force upon somebody. Like I said, people have a right to be skepti skeptical about it because of, uh, you know, what history has shown, but I don't feel like recycling through that whole details and material, whatever. But yeah, uh, the nurse that had gotten the vaccine uh, shot, her name is uh, Tiffany Dover. Um, she ended up fainting. Who's to say that it was a cause of the vaccine or not? But um, I would leave a link to her, to, uh, the, the, her having that episode. But it's on other people's channels, and I don't know if I if I if I would get you know which we call it. But um, there there is one uh, link that I probably would be safe with leaving under the comment section through uh, one of one of the news posts. But that's all I got for today, folks. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Next video, peace.